What is going on everybody? This is Major League Hats and before we get started I just want to make sure I send a special shout out to my little buddy LC in Atlanta. You know who you are. You just celebrated your first Halloween and dude you just look cute as heck in your little Charlie Brown outfit and uh I know you probably won't remember it because you're just a little guy, but I hope you had a good time. Hopefully you went out a little bit, did a little trick-or-treating or whatnot, got some candy for your mom and dad. Because I remember when I was taking out Meyer Leaks and T-Wall, you know, it's just funner to take your kid out for the very first time trick-or-treating. So, LC, I hope you had a great time. And I can't wait to see what you dress up as next year. It'd be kind of funny if uh, you keep with the uh, Snoopy theme and maybe next year uh, instead of Charlie Brown, do like Snoopy and then Linus. I think that would be kind of funny. One year though, I gotta say though, you gotta go as Wally. So tell your dad to get you a little Wally outfit and you gotta go as Wally. Of course, if you guys don't know who Wally is, he is the mascot of the Boston Red Sox. So I'll say I hope you had a good time. Let me know how it went. Let me know how much candy you got. Yes, I know he can't talk, people. He's just a little guy, but his dad can tell me. So anyway, so a little shout out to LC. Hopefully he had a good Halloween. We are going to be doing a number of unboxings and a number of videos. I have three, four, five, six unboxings, and then I have 14 hats coming in. Uh, via lids and whatnot and another team store order and then I have a Macy order coming in and uh, During this whole month of November. I'm gonna be dropping a little video every day This is like a twofold. I did this last year But during October where I was able to get a video out 30 of 31 days So my goal is again to get a video out every day I came up one video short last year and hopefully I can do it again because there is only about 30 days in November so I only have 30 days of 30 days so hopefully I could do that uh, but also I would like to use this whole month as a little push to get to 100 views by December so hopefully we could do that I need about 15 16 thousand more views uh, so if I do a video every day uh, quick math in my head uh, just thinking I probably need at least 200 views for a video so if you know anybody that is into hats or anything please let them know about my channel I would greatly appreciate it I can't do this without you guys and you know honestly guys if I don't hit a hundred thousand views by the end of November it is perfectly okay because that's just the way it is I'll get there eventually but if I could get a little spike in numbers that would be freaking awesome so without further ado guys Let's get on to the unboxing because that's what you want to see and that's what I'm going to give you. So let's go! All right, so I have a, this is from Fanatics. Um, I don't, you know, I'm trying to think, what did I order from Fanatics? I have a small idea of possibly what it is but I'm not 100% sure what it is. So I have my little cutter here. By the way, this is my second cutter. Uh, I lost the other one or something. I don't know what happened to it, so I don't know. Uh, by the way, guys, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I keep up on all the latest hat trends. I try to keep up with all the latest minor league news as well. So if you're looking for minor league news, uh, this is the channel to be. If you're looking for cool hat reviews, this is the channel to be. And if you're into Funko Pops, go check out my other channel, Major League Pops with the Z. I do everything with the Z. There's no S in any of this name on this channel. So feel free to go check that out. But if you're strictly into hats and sports you want to be tuned in to major league hats channel so all right let's see what is in here okay perfect this is oh yes okay i kind of forgot about this one so this is actually pretty good for this channel if anybody wants a hundred dollar wine voucher card there you go it's all yours we shoot we score and the crowd goes wild Thank you. Thank you to all my loyal fans out there. But that's not what you guys want to hear. You guys want to see what we got out of the box. Uh, dude, these are freaking nice. But I have to show you is BAM! 
the Scottsdale Scorpions 2019 Arizona Fall League hats. Uh, Lids recently came out with, uh, there was a total of, I believe, 12 of them. There was a home and away alternate or two different designs. And so they have this one. And then I believe the other one is just like all black. But um, I had to get this one because if you guys know anything about the Arizona Fall League, it incorporates like six teams from each major league team. So like you could have, for example, Scottsdale Scorpions team. They incorporate the San Francisco Giants, the Atlanta Braves, the New York Mets, the Philadelphia Phillies, and the Toronto Blue Jays. So they have a total of five teams participating in this league. So like if you're a Giants fan, you would want to go see the Scorpions play because this is where all the Giants rookies, they usually have about five or six players from the Giants go there. Same with the Blue Jays and the Phillies, the Braves and the Mets. Usually about five teams make up the whole team overall. And it allows like young rookies that basically got drafted last June or they're probably into their second pro season, get a little more experience in the fall league. So I had to get this one being that it was a Giants connected affiliation team because you know I'm a Giants fan so also the logo is actually really cool and then the other cool part about these hats is that this is the most current up-to-date logo design that they just released this year I did do a review on all six of the previous designs if you haven't checked out that video feel free to go check it out I'll even put the link at the end of this video so you can go check it out but you know honestly I really like what they did with these hats so let me show you guys a little bit closer so if you check out the scorpion logo it just looks more natural more real to it it has that nice shaded black to it, it has that nice vicious red going on so it looks really nice I really like how they have the Arizona Fall League patch right there. It is stitched on. They did a really good job. I like the vibrant colors. It's kind of interesting how they have the Major League little guy right here and then they have the Major League little guy in the back. Kind of wish um, honestly that they would have put like the Minor League logo here or if they didn't at least put it right there on the back because on most Minor League teams that's what they have as a minor league logo in the back. And to me, with this being the fall league hat, this is obviously connected to the minor league teams. You have the black eyelets, you got the red button, you got a red new era flag, you got black underneath and a black sweatband, seven and five eighths, 100% polyester and of course it is made in our favorite place of china so this is a really nice hat i love the design so that's why i had to pick it up so let's try it on all right so you know there's been a lot of hit or misses with sizings nowadays but this one fits really good as you can see it's a little stiff um it doesn't have of course that soft feeling to it but this is not a bad hat just go to your normal size unless you like it to be a little loose and you know like i say if that's what you like go up a size but otherwise you know if it's really good for a seven and five eighths there isn't a lot of wiggle room and i really like the fact that with this being like a red and black hat you can wear a lot of different kind of clothing with it you know black shirt blue jeans it would actually look really good so check that out um, eventually I would like to pick up more of the Arizona Fall League hats like I said there is a total of 12 of them because each team has two variations so hopefully I will get a chance to do that all right the next hat I have to show you this is another Arizona Fall League team because I did get two of them and uh this one I just I just really liked it. I thought it was a cool looking logo, but we got, bam! We have the Surprise Segueros. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce it right, but this logo is just freaking awesome. And then it has those nice green and black colors, kind of like the uh, Dayton Dragon. So it looks really good. It got that nice, you know, uh, normal green right here with that black crown but check out the cactus details he looks really good with his bandana over his face he's got his cowboy hat he's got that gold outlining going all the way around him and he has like a little bit like i want to say reddish eyes going on so it just looks really good you got that nice green bill black eyelets green button green flag right there of course the same thing as the other hat as well it's just on the back for this major league little guy it is a green and black and white outlining same thing 100 polyester and made in china so 
these hats i freaking love them just because the color and like i mentioned earlier they redesigned their whole logo uh these are more i would say more realistic now it's funny even though this is a seven to five eights this one actually is a little bit tighter than the godstell scorpions hat so i find that kind of interesting considering that it is 100 percent uh, polyester and it is made in China. It does have a little bit of a snug fit to it, but other than that, it looks really good. Like I said, I really like this hat. If you're not sure what teams make up the surprise seguros, I'll tell you which ones make it up. They consist of the Baltimore Orioles, the Kansas City Royals, the New York Yankees, the Texas Rangers, and your World Series champions, Washington Nationals. Yes, those are the teams that make up the surprise seguros. So check it out. Let me know you guys down in the comment section if you picked one of these up. Let me know if you are gonna pick one of these up. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. The other one was a little bit loose and this one's a little bit tight. So for me, for now, since my hair is grown out, it fits okay. There's still plenty of room in it. So I would probably just go to your normal size. But of course, like I say, if you have that weird size going on, where if you normally order your size and it fits you just right, I'd probably go up, uh, you know, an eighth of a size or a quarter of a size just to play on the safe side. So that's what I would do. That's part of the reason why I moved up from seven and a half to seven and five eighths, just because after a while, the seven and a half just got really tight. So I've been pretty fortunate with um, seven and five eighths fitting really good. A couple of them have been a little bit big, but then again, a couple of them have been a little bit small. And, you know, over the last, you know, couple of years, I've actually had to pick up a couple seven and three quarters, especially when they, you know, switch up the design or something like that. So let me know what you guys think overall of the hat. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys liked the review on the 2019 Arizona Fall League hats. I think they are freaking awesome. I will definitely be picking up more down the line. So stay tuned for those videos. If you guys like the videos, please leave a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. All right, you guys. This is Major League Hats out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit your notifications so you get notified when I upload my next video. All right, you guys. Major League Hats out. Bye, everybody. See ya.